Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Sword Surprise Lock. Last episode, we got some encounters in the wild area, and we're going to continue doing that today. So I think there are two more places where we can get encounters. Um, it turns out the Pokemon here that I've been trying to catch, they are too high anyway. So we can't really get an encounter here like I thought we could. But there, but there are still two more areas where we can get an encounter. So we'll be able to do that today, but we'll just have to come back here another time. And there's like two or three other areas as well that we'll have to come back to once we're like level 40 or something. So just just um for now we gotta pass up some of these encounters, and we can come and we can come back at a later date and get them. But okay, let's just avoid that guy. Okay. So uh, yeah, we're going to go up to. Stony Wilderness and Giant's Mirror. I got my little document up here on the places to get an encounter. So we can get those two places and then I think I think that it that will be that's all the encounters that we can get. Actually, you know what? I think there's might be an item over there. Sorry, I'm just item hunting right now. Kinda wanna do this. You know, yeah, there we go. Pokeball, thank you. That's fantastic. Get some watts. And here we go. Big mushroom and tiny mushroom, okay. Cool. Uh, be careful here. Holy leg. Um, so I am I am recording this right after last episode, so that's why it's still the same uh, weather. I'm recording them back to back. Uh, I don't normally do this, but I thought I thought I'm I think I'm just gonna start doing this, especially if I need to be in the daytime. So I think it's just easier to record two or three in like one setting in, in one sitting. So that's why the weather is still the same. I'm just recording it back to back. Look at that Conkelder. Let's avoid that guy. Wait, was that a person that popped up? Okay, it was. I thought it was a Pokemon. So let's just cut through here. And we need to go. And that, this, that's also why the dens have already been collected. Because I'm recording it right after. So we just got to get past Bridgefield. And then we'll be in Stony Wilderness, I think. So let's, let's come. Let's come. Oh my god, beware. Beware of beware. Come through this way, I think. Did I already get that? Yeah, I did. Is there another one over here? Or an item maybe? I know I know there's the digging duo, but I I think I'm good. Don't really need to use them. Is it Stony Wilderness yet? Not yet. Okay, there we go. Now it is. Let's get 300 watts. Oh, this is where you get um a ditto. This is how I got my five IV ditto. Is I like used this den or something, or or there or there's a den around here with a ditto in it. So if we're fighting a level 30 dude, maybe it should be Zigzagoon. That might be easy. Come here. Because I think these guys are going to be like level 30 or something like that. Level 29. So it might be easy with the Zigzagoon. Level 28. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Around there somewhere. So, I say let's probably go out into uh, Tyrannus is our best bet. Because Hunky might do too much damage. So we'll just go into, into Tyrannus. Should be all good. And you know, we'll go for Poison Fang. I think that, that might be a good idea. Oh, I didn't know he had rest. Oh my god, I didn't know he had rest. That's great. Please don't use rest. Okay, poison. That's cool. Don't rest. Thank you. Pin missile. Thank you, thank you. This is it gonna hit five times? But we, we do have the uh, leftovers, so that's a good thing. Five times? Yeah, okay. I thought so. I thought it would. Now we'll go for... Well, we're still a Great Ball, because since he's poisoned and he has rest, I just kind of want to catch him. So it doesn't get annoying. There we go. Should be easy. It's, it's, a, it's a Galarian Zigzagoon. Not too bad. Very nice. Let me highlight it on my document. Now we got Stony Wilderness out of the way. Give me that experience. No level up, that's okay. No nickname, we're good. Set the box. Okay. And we can start surprise trading right away. So let's go to surprise trade. Uh, Zigzagoon. There we go. Alright. Start surprise trading. Okay. Very nice. So I'm going to heal up my Tyrannus, I think. Yeah. 11 HP. That's all good. And we will continue on. 
one more place. Oh, isn't it? Can't, can't you get like uh, good items over here that sell for a lot of money? Star piece? Yeah. Give me all these, bro. <laughs> Give me this. Star piece. Ah, oh, heck yeah. Look at all the watts over there, too. I'm not gonna go over to the left side because the left side is where the strong dudes are. We just need to go up, I think. Oh, goodbye, Zigzagoon. Alright. Be something good, please. Oh! Ryolu! Oh my goodness. Dude. Lucario is pretty cool. I don't think I've used a, a, a Lucario since X and Y. Since you get like, you like get traded a, 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 a Lucario, right? You get one for free. But yeah, let's uh, check him out. That's awesome. Freaking, that is sick, bro. Level one, okay. All right. Guess we're keeping that look uh, Ryolu, not Lucario. Ryolu. Let's uh, get these Watts though. 300, thank you. Nope, nope, we're not fighting. Uh, what's that name? What's, what's his name? Cubchoo. His name's Cubchoo. So that's like my favorite Pokemon from Unova. 50 watts. Okay, and then up here should be another area. Soon? What's this called? What's this area? It's called Giant's Mirror up here. Once we see Giant's Mirror, we know we're in a good spot. Can I get this item? Vega Stardust. I think there were two, though. Yeah. Vega Stardust. There we go. We'll get these watts over here as well. Holy lag, bro. My goodness. 50 watts. Just keep getting watts and then we'll be able to get TRs eventually. When is it going to change? The giant smear. There we go. Gloom. Probably not. Don't want to fight a gloom. Probably want to fight a coughing. Eh. They all kind of suck. Just go for a Wubat, I guess. That maybe won't be too bad. So he should be a good level to catch. He should be under level 30 or level 30. Level 29. Good. Okay. So we'll go into... Probably Tyrannus and we'll go for a Poison Fang. And then that should be... Okay. Dude, Tyrannus is, is holding it down getting these encounters. He's doing a good job. Air Cutter. I think that's a normal type move. Yeah. Surprisingly, that's a normal type move. I know, it's weird. You think it'd be flying, but it's not. It's uh, normal. Or or maybe it is flying. I don't know. I think I'm dumb. But there there is a move about, about with like with like a wing or something. That is normal type, if I remember correctly. Okay, so this puts me in a tough spot, because he's like at 50%. And I don't really want to go for another poison thing. So let's just throw a great ball and hope for the best. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hope for the best here. Okay. Whew. Thank you, Wubat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, let's get that experience going. Oh yeah, level 25. Very nice. And I think we'll come back to the wild area once we have level 40s. And uh, we'll do another episode or, or episode or two like this where we catch some Pokemon. Because I think that is the last one. That we'll be able to catch with, uh, we'll, we'll be able to catch in uh, confidence and not have a struggle like we did last episode. So let's uh, try. Look, oh my goodness, Wubats. Goodbye, my Wubat. And we'll see who we get. All right. Also, I'll heal up Tyrannus. While we're at it, and we should be done with the wild area. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh wait, Tyrannus is healed. We're good. He's a uh, pretty good. All right, let's keep going. Give me this pungent root. And I, I know I'm definitely um, I'm missing items, but that's 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 okay. I'm not too concerned with all items. I just want to kind of get the watts, you know, and we'll be good. Dude, that 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 uh, texture of the bike is tripping me out. I thought there was an item there. <laughs> it's the bike. Okay, trade complete. Oh, there's an item here though. Let's get this before we get. All right, let's see what we get. Goodbye, Wubat. I, I always get so excited before these trades. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Well, I'm not excited. It's a freaking purloin. That's great. 
Thanks for the pearl, for the purloin. Can it be like a level 60 purloin? Maybe, 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 maybe. It, it can be, it can be level 60. <sighs> All right, so it's it's level, it's level 14. But let's just go over the, the Pokemon that we got traded in the wild area. So we got a Wubat, a Clink, an Electabuzz, which I think is probably one of, one of the best ones. A Score Bunny, which is also really good. A male Salandit, so we can't evolve it. A Ryolu, which I think is also a uh, top contender for the best one. And then Purloin. So nothing that will add to the team, but we got some pretty good ones with the Ryolu, the Electabuzz, and then Score Bunny. I think those three are definitely the best ones. But all right, we're, we're done with the wild area. We're not going to get one... Um, actually, you know what? Let me highlight that because I, I know me. I'm going to forget that I got this encounter. So this is important that I do this. There you go. So we're going to leave all the other areas and we will be back in the wild area in the next few episodes. Whenever we're able to get to level 40, I think I'll come back and we'll be able to get some more Pokemon. We'll be able to get four encounters. There are four other documents. Actually, then only three because I know one of the areas had like level 45s. So maybe we'll only, only be able to get three, but that's still okay. We are done with the wild area and we're going to Hammerlock now. Got my 50 watts, thank you. All right, holy leg. Let's get, uh, you know what, Let, we don't need the internet anymore. Let's, let's disconnect because it is too laggy. Thank you. All right, we're safe. Oh, we made it. Oh. Ah, a gym challenger. Allow me to check your gym badges. The grass badge, the water badge, and the fire badge. It is confirmed that you've defeated three gym you've defeated three gym leaders, including the leader of Motorstone. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. Oh my god, it's bead. Oh, it's you. I doubt Hawk will be coming. It's only natural. After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way he could look the champion in the eye. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. Here, I just took I'd, here, just look at the gym badges I've already won. Thank you, Challenger Bead. I can confirm that you have the required gym badges, or the required badges. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. Whatever, whatever you say, dude. Look him walk up the stairs, look at that animation. <laughs> uh, I love it. Alright, here we go. Going into Hammerlock. Let's do this. So yeah, we still got a couple areas left in the wild area to catch some Pokemon. We will, we will be back one day. One day we will be back to get them. Alright. Hammerlock. I like how it's raining out there, but here it's very sunny. That's great. Alright, got some shops. I really I, I really like this city. It it reminds me of that one city in uh, in uh, Unova. I, I don't remember its name, but it's kind of like this. Okay, here's the people. Do I want to talk to them? No, I want to go to the, to the Pokemon Center first. Always smart to go to the Pokemon Center first, in my opinion. Let's heal up. There we go. All right. Our team's really coming together now, aren't they? This is great. And uh, soon we're going to be having a full, fully evolved team. That's very, very soon. All right, let's uh, buy some things. I'll buy three more Pokeballs. We'll buy 10 more Great Balls. There we go. We'll buy four potions. Just get everything up to 30 again. Should be all good. There we go. Antidotes. We're all good with that. We're all good with that. Okay. No, thank you. Let's continue. All right. Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both Wishing Stars and Gym Badges as fast as I can. Good work, Bead. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you. Right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me. It's for the future of the whole Galar region. And we'll need more than just wishing stars. We need a powerful Pokemon trainer, too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop. I was able, yeah, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion endorsed trainers. Just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's the spirit. It takes a it takes healthy competition to really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger Bead, there is something I wish to discuss with you. 
Do you have a moment? Ooh. Uh oh, that's not good. I hope you were listening, Kute123. As you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that are even attached to your Dy Dynamax bands. There's more to wishing stars than just making your Pokemon into giants, though. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Galar region gets its et energy. Alright, I guess we're going for a school lesson. Okay, here we go. I feel like there's a lot of talking that's about to come. Oh boy. I, mean, I, got, I need to drink water for this. There's a bunch of talking. Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now, have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. Okay, see? An easy to understand description of the energy plant. First, energy is absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium Tower. From Hammerlock's, from Hammerlock Stadium's tower. Then it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Our lives and society require various types of energy sources, such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to provide everyone's lives, aim to, to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Oleana decides to give me another earful. Kute, I suggest you head over to the vault next. Just head toward Route 6 from the stadium, and you should find the vault without any issue. Okay, Route 6, where is that? Let's check on our town map. That's not town map. I'm used to going to the bag for town map, but the town map's right here. Route 6 is this way. Oh, right, okay, yeah, so we so we, so we, so we, do that, and then we gotta do that. Okay, yeah, it's all coming back to me. All right, we're going to the left. You got it. I like how it's like the gym theme music because it's inside the gym. That's nice. All right. Just keep it going. Going to the left. To the vault, apparently. Oh, it's Leon. All right, Leon. Kute, seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. But hop. Did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm sorry, Lee. It must be the first time I've heard, like, my quote from Pop. It might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, and I have no idea what it was for. Maybe he's feeling down because he had some hard losses in battle? I think so. <laughs> at least I've got you to keep an eye on him. You will look out for Hop, won't you? As his rival? No, I won't. Blast. And look at the time. Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That Oleana really lets me hear it when I'm late. Now, if I only could, if only I could remember which way to go. Anyway, I'd say that you should go ahead and say hello to Rayhan. Well, you're here, Kute. He's the greatest rival I've, I've got the, he's the greatest rival I've got, and the final hurdle you'll have to face in the gym challenge. But he should still be around the vault. If you hurry, it's down, it's down that way on the way to Route Six. Okay. Ah. Oh. So. Now on the way to Route 6, so we just keep going the way we're going, seems like, and we'll be good. Oh, look at item. Excuse me, Mr. Oh, look at another item. <laughs> it wasn't the item I was going for. Okay, this item. Two Hyper Potions. Oh, nice. Okay. So, I think there's like someone here that they can get like an Applin, or you can give them an Applin or something. I don't exactly remember. Another Pokemon Center, that's nice. Okay, so there's Rayhan. Look at this epic battle going on right now. Freaking Gastrodon and Rhydon. But I did just get the, the, the muscle band, and I think I'm gonna give that to our Charmeleon. I don't have a Pokemon similar to him. It's like the boost power physical moves. Yeah, we're gonna give this to Charmeleon. Go get rid of the Shell Bell. The Shell Bell's not really that useful. There we go, everyone's got an item. Very nice. Actually, I wanna check, is there an item over here? No, we're in a person. Do you give me anything? Oh. If you if you got Toxel, okay, no, I don't have a Toxel. I'm sorry. All right, Ray Rayhan. Oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion, let's see. What's your name again? I don't know what this voice is. Just gonna make it up as I go. Ah, right, Cute. And if Leon himself recognized your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. 
All the same, though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Rayhan has to prove they're up to it by earning seven gym badges first. I already knew that, bro. Ah, so you're here to see the, our treasures, are ya? Gaining a better understanding of Pokemon by studying hi by studying history is cer certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Follow me, why don't ya? Alright, let's go into the vault. I kind of forget what happens in here. I haven't played this in so long. I'll even spare you one of my lead cards. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, on you go. If it's the vault you want, it's up those stairs there. All right. Let's go to the vault. I don't know why we're going here, but sure. Let's go check out the vault, I guess. Is there like an item in here I can get or something? There's like something cool. Oh my god, look at TM. It's charm. Yay. Totally useful. Thank you. It's totally a useful move. Yay. Can I, I want to go up these stairs. What's up there? Alright, so let's go in the vault. Oh, it's, uh, what's her face? Oh, you're here. Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there are still treasures, tapestries that can tell us of Galar's history. The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs. The two bewildered youths. The youths look... I, I, I don't think I read the last one right. The youths looking at the sword and shield to stop the disaster. L are looking on at the sword and shield. That... Oh, God. It's happening. The youths being crowned. These tapestries tell the story of the Galar creation of a kingdom in Galar. The story of a creation of a kingdom in Galar. My god, I'm sorry, I'm messing up my lines. Say, young gym challenger, what sticks out to the most... What sticks out to, to you most about them? The darkest day? Right? That's gotta be it. The story of the black storm that blotted out the skies was passed on through the years as a tale of disaster. That's what the darkest day is. Was there really only one hero? Or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. I think I've got some theories now. I'm going to reach I'm going to research the, the tapestries a tad more. But you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you, so take a couple of these. I hope to see more of your wins. Two revived. I can't use them. I'm sorry I'm doing a nuzlocke. Or a surprise lock. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you for the tapestries, bro. It's a. Uh, can we go out? Like on Route 6. I think that's where we gotta go next, right? You really wanna tell me? Okay, yeah, he does. The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of the Galar region's past. I suppose we've got it. I suppose we've got any modern. I suppose if we've got any modern hero, it'd have to be our champion, Leon. Listen up, Kute. Your goal is to defeat that superstar Leon. So go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to Stow on Side. Stow on Side. Alright, well, you know what? I think I'm actually, I'm just going to wrap up this episode here. And next episode, we'll go to Route 6 and get an encounter. So, um, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And have a fantastic day. And bye.